Hello, and thank you for tuning in for another Scrapbook Sunday 101. This is the girls' road trip, and this is going to be Arizona. So hopefully you saw the other pages. If not, you can go back and look at those on YouTube. Just a couple quick reminders. We have the new scrapbooking mug and sweatshirts and t-shirts. It's all about the memories. Also, you can sign up for my online fun fold class for February, which is using the hot air balloon suite. All the uh, information is below and the links to join also. Don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter tutorial and all the links are below. So let's get started. Okay, so for today, what I'm going to be using is again the Earth and Elegance designer series paper in the annual catalog on page 130. I thought that really had a, like a southwestern vibe, so that's what I'm going to be using. We're also going to be using, which I've been using through the whole thing, is the new mini alphabet dies. I love the fact that these dies, you can cut them all out at one time and you have several letters. You can see I have quite a few over here. I do it a few times and then I keep them all over here in my silicone mat. That comes with the new glass studio, which you can get with your starter kit. With those, I'm also using our adhesive sheets so that the adhesive is already on the back of these so I don't have to put glue on them. And you can find these in the annual catalog also. Okay, so I'm gonna be bringing in two pieces of round now this is from uh, a couple of catalogs ago but I wanted to use it up and that's the cinnamon cider uh, pecan pie is very close to that those are 12 by 12 these sheets are 6 by 12 and they were cut down for my um, paper share so I wanted to use these so I am just going to cut off about a quarter of an inch I'm going to do both of them together. Let me do it inside this way. And I'm just going to take off about a quarter of an inch so I have a little bit of a border. There we go. And then I'm going to flip that over. I'm going to grab my stamp and seal. A little in the middle. And a little down here. out of the way and I'm going to put this I'm using this to measure that's 12 so right about here would be the middle just want to have a little bit of that border there I'm going to do the same thing with this one I hope you're enjoying the, the weekly travels here now, next weekend, I will not be on. It is my birthday weekend, and I am taking that off. I'm going down to visit my cousin. So let me just make sure I get this about right. There we go. All right, so I'm going to bring in my pictures that I have here and some little doodads. So this is the Grand Canyon. And we got to visit that during the day and at night. Such a beautiful place. I'm going to just put these. I want to have enough room for the wording. So I'm going to just lay those down for a second. And then I'm going to start with the words. So we are going to do Grand Canyon. And I'll try to get that as close to straight as I can. <laughs> Remember, it's all about the memories, not how great your cards and stuff are. Or I'm used to doing cards, your scrapbook pages. It's for you. So any way you want to do that, I think I can do it better with my fingers here. Sometimes I like to just do them off center. Then I don't have to worry about if they're straight or not. I might just do that with this. Let's just grab this here. So you can see I have already got these backings off, so you didn't have to watch me do that for all the letters. Okay. 
Okay. Sometimes I have to double check my spelling here. So we got to the Grand Canyon and it was getting dark. So we went up there and took a few pictures and then we went back down the hill and stayed overnight at a little hotel motel. And you'll see that in a minute, which actually turned out great because seeing it during the day is beautiful. Seeing it at night is just unbelievable. I'm going to go ahead and add the pictures here. Oh, you know what? I got the A and Z. I want to put that there, too. So I'm going to put, put that right there. Grand Canyon. Oh, I didn't take that piece off on here. Let's just take that off. You see how easy that comes off? And now it's sticky. And then we'll add this picture. So that's going to be the first page of my two-page layout. I'm going to add that right there. Okay, the second page. I've already got that put down, so let me grab these pictures. <laughs> we got a kick out of this because it's, you know, in New York it's watch for deer. This is watch for the elk. And here is a postcard from that. This is an old-fashioned postcard, really. Look at those old cars. How cool. But I wanted to add this. So let me just see. I think I'm going to do this. Move that up a little bit. Once I get it where I like it, I'll go ahead and glue those down. So after Arizona, the next stop was Vegas. So the next one I do will be Vegas. Put this right here. Had to have that in the picture. Go ahead and glue this down. in the stamp and seal. Just gonna add that right there. So now I have my two page layout for the Grand Canyon. Let me just bring this down a little bit so you can see better. Because they are 12 by 12. There we go. So I had a few things to put on here. One of the things I had was pretty cool. Remember when you used to put a penny in a machine and it would, you'd roll it and it would come out flat with the little doodads on it. Well, now those things are 50 cents, but my girlfriend Pat did that for me. So I'm going to add those. And I have these cute little pieces that say West Adventure Awaits Sightseeing. These were from um, some scrapbook pay, uh, scrapbook little kits that I had from years ago. And I went through my stash and added those or pulled those out. So look in your stash. I'm sure you have something. I'm going to use liquid glue here, and I'm using my glue press. I didn't have that closed up because for me, this is easier. And I can put that my Tombow in there. And if you like that glue press, the link is below from my petunia, my sweet petunia. I'm going to add this one. Just going to glue that right there. And then sightseeing. And we'll add that one right there. I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer 
and just cut those a little bit so I have a little bit of a border so they whoop, so they show up a little better. Let's cut this down here. They're also easier to handle this way. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel, give me a thumbs up, and definitely comment. I do read all the comments, so thank you for commenting and watching. It's a little crooked, but it's okay. It's one of those things we'll do off center. You can see I'm just slicing that until I get it where I want it. So remember, no lives next weekend on Friday for my uh, Fun Fold Friday or Scrapbook Sunday, since I will be away. All right. So I have these now. Let me bring this back in. Oh, I didn't glue that one down. What I did. Well, I did, but I didn't put it very well. Let's take that back off. Okay. All right, let's see where I want to put these elements. So I'm going to lay both pages out. You might not be able to see the whole page. These little guys, I'm going to use glue dots for those. I think um, that'll work. Grab my glue dots, they come in a roll. And I'll put a glue dot on here. They will be in page protectors when I'm done with this book. So yeah, you're gonna see the whole book from start to finish. Okay, now I wanna put these where they're gonna show up, so. But I think, because it's got the little elk on it, maybe I'll put that right here, right here. And now I have these little doodads. Maybe put that right there, let's see. And I think maybe Adventure Awaits is right there. And sightseeing down here. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to bring in some of my dimensionals for that. I'll pop those up on dimensionals. So if you ever go to the Grand Canyon, I do recommend that you, if you're going to stay overnight, that you, um, in advance, get a room because they are booked up. We got we got there later than we wanted to, and we had no place to sleep. And we called all over, and there was no rooms. And we called the Red Feather Hotel, and they didn't have any rooms. But then coming back down the mountain, or the canyon, we saw that they also had a lodge, and we were lucky to get a room overnight. So when we got up, we were we were up early, and we went back to the Grand Canyon at like six o'clock in the morning and watch the sun come up. So here we we were here at night and then we went back in the morning and got to watch the sun come up, which was pretty cool. Let me put that right there. So for now, that's what I'm putting on there. Again, I'm gonna go back and add some elements to this when I'm done with the book, Grand Canyon. Now I only put a few page uh, pictures on these um, I have tons more. The next page is just going to be a single page. Again, using that same... Oh, my S is missing. Where did my S go? It's probably stuck somewhere. That's all right. I'll get another one. And I'm using a different designer series paper from that packet. I'm going to do the same... Oh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that just like that because it fits right on there. Ooh, it changed it already. Let 
add a little glue here. Put that right in the center. Bring in my pictures for Sedona. And I have a lot more from Sedona, but again, this is just to show your, remember your memories, I should say. Life is good. Uh, life was meant for good friends and great adventure. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down, I think. Right about there. Move that over. I need an S. Let's see. Oh, there's an S. All right. So now that I know where I want to put that, I'm just going to pull the backing off of this S. The other one that I had there is probably stuck to something. And I think I'm going to put that up here. One of those times I'm doing it a little bit off center. Hopefully, I spelled everything right. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to add my pictures. I love that sentiment right there. Life was meant for good friends and great adventures, and this was a great adventure. And we'll put that one right here. And there's the four of us girls. Okay, I now have some of more of those little pieces that I found from um, a scrapbooking kit from years ago. And I'm gonna do the same thing. This one might fit one of these, let's see. Let's do this. Let's grab the scenic view. Take my paper snips. Be careful with your paper snips. They are very sharp. All right, I have this other little paper left over. So I'm using paper snips instead of the trimmer because it's so small. And I am just, well, that's going to stay right there. I'm just going to snip that off. I really appreciate all the comments that everybody is um, sending me about that you love the scrapbook Sundays and that you're getting back into scrapbooking because of this. So thank you for all of those comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right, I like this one too. It's the journey, not the destination. Although the destination was very important on this trip since we were driving my husband's car to my son and daughter-in-law. This one's kind of long, so I am gonna use this. And trim that up. It was definitely a fun time. And just what I needed at that time. I'm going to put that on with dimensionals. Here they are. So I've never, I was never at the Grand Canyon or Sedona, and I will tell you, if you ever get the chance to visit those places, you need to. Absolutely gorgeous. The last one I did in Nashville and Memphis, I had been there before, but new memories with my friends. Let's 
can make a video. Just put this. I'm gonna, again, I'm going to add some other elements to these pages when I'm done. But for now, this is what I'm doing. So there is a page for Sedona. Let me bring the other two pages in. And these are from the Gary Ann Canyon. And now we have part four. I lost track. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this segment of the Girls Road Trip 2023. And I will be back, not next Sunday, but the following Sunday, with the next few pages, which are going to be Vegas, baby. So join me then. And until then, thank you so much for tuning in. And keep on scrapbooking, scrapbookers. Bye.